I'm Salman Michael Farr, Senior Vice President of Technology at FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. So at FINRA, what we do is we protect investors and ensure market integrity for securities markets. We surveil 99% of the um, equity markets or around 70% of options markets. In doing this, what we're looking for is for attempts of fraud and market manipulation where it creates an unfair playing field and disadvantage for honest investors that are trying to participate in these markets. Our use of machine learning at scale and to be able to do so efficiently gives us a chance to transform the way we analyze data. And in doing so, gives us the opportunity to provide a level of protection to the public and to investors that is markedly different and improved from what we could do without these technologies. With the Databricks environment and the notebooks and the richness of the languages and the possibilities of that, we have one cohesive end-to-end -end process with one single unified team working on these various aspects together. What this does is it cuts down the overall time to market required on these patterns, increases the reusability of the feature libraries that are created, and then by developing languages like Scala, we get code reusability out of this also. Some of the values that Databricks has provided to our organization is in helping democratize machine learning and allow people that are not necessarily dyed-in-the-wool developers to participate and develop machine learning. So we have a range of people involved in this process. We have data scientists that are primarily perhaps from a statistics background, and they're able to use the Databricks notebook environments to develop machine learning and use Spark and not be concerned with the various complexities that are under the hood and participate. Then we have developers that are certainly used to the complexities of development environments but don't necessarily have the machine learning backgrounds. And they're able to use feature libraries and various um, algorithms that are canned algorithms to be able to work with that and move their way to understanding more about the data science and the domain. So this facility has allowed us to expand the use of machine learning in our environments. The streamlining of the development process, the ability to do more experimentation. From a process impact, we've experienced very positive contributions from Databricks. By compressing what would otherwise be a traditional software development life cycle into a much more compact work process where hunches can be followed up and either explored and capitalized on or dead ends shut down very quickly, it allows us to focus our expertise. In our business, data is the business because we have data being generated, which is not a representation of what happens in securities markets. It is what happens in securities markets. And I see that the use of machine learning will be a core foundation of how we develop our algorithms and our systems to find anomalies in data and in behavior. And I'm looking forward to using Databricks prominently as we move forward in this direction.